All right, guys. Well, it is four o'clock. We made it through the night, um, and of course, it's raining. So you know what else is new there, right? Um, but it did give us the opportunity to look around, and apparently, we have a uh, working stiffs right across the road. Ooh. Maybe these guys will get into a fight. Yes, they're gonna they're in a fight, but maybe No. Come on, kill the zombie. Alright, now you're gonna come up here and I'm gonna end up having to kill you. But you come on up and do it. Because uh Well, while we're waiting on you. Because I want your meat. We're going to unlock this safe. Um, and since we have to go back to Jen's here to drop off the class, we can't do that until 6 or 6.30. I don't remember exactly which. Um, come on. Thank you. Alright, we'll take it. I think what we're going to do... We're gonna go across and we're gonna we're gonna finish gathering cobble. I guess it would help if we reloaded that just to be safe. Now where is he? Should be. Come on, where'd you go? Right there. All right, because we want your meat. Because we need the food. We take the risk on the zombies to get the food. All right, there we go. Who's first? You, and then you, and then you, and then you again. Right? Okay, there we go. Good. So now they're dead. Let's go over here. See if we can't tell ourselves. Oh, come on. Really? Of the cobblestone that I know hanging out within easy reach should be hanging out within easy reach right inside here now we don't want to wake everybody up we just want to take care of these couple of guys that are in here I don't think we can shoot through the bench. No, I didn't think so. Oh, I guess we can. We just missed the first time. Alright, so we want this cobble. Let's get this cobble. That way we're, 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 we'll be completely fin- well, completely finished with the, uh, horde section of any money we'll take the money um, of our base we're going to build a second floor to that for our living quarters oh, damn it Stand still. All right. I know better than trying to hit these guys in the head when they're doing that. Send our mask and be done with it. All right. Let's grab the rest of this cobble. Let's grab the cement that's on top of it so you don't waste it.
get as much of this as we can. We're not going to the building. We're not out to clear this place. We just want to get what we can while we're waiting for Jen to open. And then we're going to get out of here. Okay, the back of our house. Come on. Now we're just basically killing time. this quest off. Get rid of the paper so that we have room. Get rid of the fat so we have room. Alright. Let's head back to Jen's. I can't pass up mailboxes. And I'm glad I didn't. Alright. Spears. I don't use spears, but we'll take the book simply because it's nice to have it. Ooh. We're going to mark this because that is oil shale. So we're going to mark this as oil back here later, grab up that oil shell. Are you open yet? No, not quite six o'clock yet. So we're still kind of in a waiting mode. Let's kill these guys. They're dead. We'll take the once around. No, we won't. That's right. You can't get it. Alright, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go kill us some, some soldiers. Because right across the street is the soldiers. We'll go kill these guys real quick. Now, you got to be careful here because in those ditches are landmines. You don't want to go setting the landmines off. Alright, there he is. I see him now. Did we get him? Yes, we killed him. Alright. Now, I know there are more of them here, too. So, where are the rest of them? There's another one right there. Let's see what we can find if there's any any value here. Maybe we can find a little bit of food. Well we definitely got some more cobble. Pick, oh, we can pick the chairs up. And immediately scrap them. Glue, we we'll always take glue. Alright. I have a feeling there are more GIs around here, but I don't see them so far. I would not complain about getting a decent weapon. 
Maybe there's one here in the foot locker. That arrow scared the crap out of me. I saw it out of the corner of my eye, and I thought it was movement, and I thought they had me. I'm going to scrap that. I'm going to take that uh, blood bag. They're really not worth a lot these days. I'm going to take that. Screw the blood bag. We don't have enough room for that. We don't have enough room for that. All right. Let's go back across the way here. I don't think we're going to get anything else out of here. We're going to put our bike down because we're going to take our bike back. Um, we're just too overburned, overburdened not to. And we need the space. All right. So let's go in here and see Miss Jen. Tell her we did done did good. So Hello, she'll be traveler. Nice to us. Don't spend it all in one place. But if you do, double barrel shotgun, sure we will take it. Especially since we got a horde night coming up, we will definitely take that. So your inventory, sell that, gives us fifteen. This worked out well because now we can get. Automatic weapons handbook, uh, ten percent more damage. We're gonna take, we're gonna take this one. We're gonna take the water hack. Um, if we end up with enough, we can come back for this one later. All right. Remember so me that. if you need medical supplies. Yeah, I will remember you. Let's see if there's any food because we need something for food. So we'll eat that. And then scrap it. And then we're going to get on our bike. We're going to go home. All right, map. Where's home? Home is where the heart is. And it is that direction. Let's get out of here. All right, guys. I will see you back at the tower. All right, guys, so we're back here at the tower. First thing we're going to do is we are going to get ourselves some food on the fire. And then we're going to get ourselves some drink on the fire. So three, four, five minutes. And some change. So there we go. All right, guys. So there's that. Now, we picked up all that cobblestone. What did we do with it? Any in here? None in here. Any in here? None. And none in here. So we're going to go ahead and right off the bat, we're going to finish this ceiling. All the way around the edge at least and then whatever we have materials left for all right we'll drink our water and then we're gonna go up to the next floor up Okay, so there are, and if you notice, I only put one in each of those, because we're going to go through first, and we're going to go R, copy shape, go to the next one, and go R, copy shape, next one, oops, next one, Copy shape. Next one. Copy shape. Last one. Whoops. Last one. 
copy shape. Okay, so now that we've only uh, we've got the shapes copied. Nice little trick you can do is now that they've got the shapes, you can just add to them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, and you just keep adding to it. One, two, three, four. We're gonna put ten in each for now. Um, and then we're gonna keep a square. So, like I say, this is going to be our second floor. Um, I don't think right off I am going to uh, improve these because. I may want to, um, do some changing around for windows and things like that. Once I get them up here, we'll see. Uh, eat that. And, uh, we're basically doing the same thing that we did on the last level, only this is going to be our living quarters. So I don't want to be able to see out. All right, so there's that side. a little higher so we can see what we're doing more I think oh all right cop shape Four. And the reason we went so high on that is because since this is going to be the roof roof, I think I'm going to put a full block uh, up here. We are still going to put a hatch.
right? So this ladder is going to go up. There'll be another hatch up there. So now, let's look at what we've got for shapes. Uh, in the round, what was this, seven? Right? That's what we were using. Wasn't it? These were... Yeah, round seven meter. So let us look at what we've got. Round catwalk. Let's try something here. R. Catwalk one. Oops. Where did that go? Okay. Let's go R. Round catwalk one. And then go and then go R. That's one. This is two. This is four, which is this side. Whoops. This side. Right? Now, why don't that line up? Oh, we got it oriented wrong. We got it oriented wrong? No, it's the right one. That's the right... Two, three, four, and five. So that should be four. All right, well, it says it's the right one. We'll see when we get it in what it looks like. one should be five, right? Oops. Let's take these out. So we keep hitting the wrong button. Yeah, see that? That's fouling up our looks there, guys. Maybe it's this one? Round count walk six. Looks like it's supposed to be six. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it.
Round catwalk six. What do you think of that? How's that look? That look too bad, huh? I mean, it's a little odd at the corners there, but so what? Now, will that allow us to do ladders? That is a question. Uh, L A D D E R. That'll let us do ladders. Won't let us do a ladder there because the uh, hatch is there, but that's okay. Because we can still do that. Right? Yeah, I like that. That ain't so bad, is it? And then this will be our little house. Right? I like that. What do you guys think? I like it. How much wood do we got? Not very much. All right, let's go. Let's go chop down some trees, guys. Uh, I won't make you sit through it. I'm just gonna go chop down some trees. We'll be back in a minute. All right, there we go, guys. So that's get us a start on our uh, on our wood. Ah. I don't see I don't understand why if this is seven meters and that's seven meters why they don't line up properly but whatever we're gonna live with it we're gonna live with it now I have mentioned to you guys probably in the past I, I know I've mentioned it on videos that I live in Maryland and uh living in Maryland I grew up in Delaware for part of my life and I grew up for Maryland and the majority of it we spent a lot of time down at the down at the beach down in Delaware. And if anybody's been to the beaches in Delaware, they've seen these great big towers that are out on the beaches. And what those towers are is they're old submarine watchtowers um, from, from back in uh, World War II and what have you. And they're kind of iconic and you see them all the time. And that's one of the reasons that this tower really kind of appeals to me because it reminds me of those. I really kind of like the look of it. I don't know why I'm using that and not this. So that kind of brings me back to my childhood, if you will. I really kind of like it. So I really kind of like this tower. And what I think we're going to do, this is this particular base has lasted me in the past for a number of weeks uh, so I think we'll be finding it for quite some time but I think what I'm going to ultimately do is build this out into a complex it's kind of what I'd like to do maybe some interconnecting towers and that sort of thing it should be an interesting little project. But I think this is going to give us a nice little home. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. One of the things I want to grab, oh, there it is, is this. We need to put it somewhere. So we might as well, eh, probably easier to judge from down here. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three. Right? Does that look about centered? That looks like the middle to me. We're going to plop that puppy in right. How do we want it to face? I think that looks best. Yeah, that looks best to me. So there we go. We're going to plop that puppy right in there. we got to put it someplace anyway. Might as well put it there. I 
Ah, didn't want to do that. I was aiming for the lock. That's all right. Eventually, this is all going to get upgraded and what have and painted and stuff like that. Anyway, this is all going to be ultimately going to be concrete. So we fudged up on that one, but we're okay. Now, one of the things we are going to do up here, because I know me, and I know going up ladders and falling off of edges of things, that we are going to definitely put crinolines up here. Sounds like we got somebody's attention. So let's go down and give them a housewarming. Where are you at? What are you doing? Why are you beating on that? Come up and come visit. Let me show you how this thing works. Oh, let me guess. Because you fell down, go boo-boo. Now you're gonna be you're gonna go into destroy everything mode. You see, idiot. Now come on up. Well, I know you can do it. I know you wanna do it. Come on, straight up. Don't fall off. There you go. He's going to make it this time, maybe. See? And if we have that up, all we do is go bonk, him fall down, and go back around, come back up. Right? Now he's going to come around, come back up, <clears throat> and we're going to beat the crap out of him again. And we can stand here and eat if we need to, and get a drink if we need to, and hit him in the head if we need to, and there you go. So that's how that works. So now, let's go back up here. And break our damn leg. See, that's why I say, we're, we're putting crinolines up there, guys. And that's why... We did not need that to happen before Horde Night. That's okay. We'll live with it. Alright. I knew that was going to happen. So, we're going to go... We're gonna put that back on the pile. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five again. And we're going to go R... Curly, seven meters, but instead of taking the full size ones this time, we're going to take these ones. So we're going to do that one. That one. That one. One, two, three, four. And that one. Okay, so these are going to go Shiza. And we're going to have to build some more. All right. Copy shape.
there. And this one's gonna go there. 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 And there. And then that one. There. 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 Probably we're out of them again. One, two, three, four. All right. Copy shape. Rotate that one. It's going to go there. It's going to go there. So that's all of that shape. That's both that side, both of those, both of those. Oh, we need another one of them. There. All right. Okay. You know what? Before that pig gets too far away, let's go down and get him. Now that we got that done, let's go down, I know, on our broken leg and get that pig. There we go, because we need the pig. And we're going to run over there. It doesn't much matter. we got a broken leg already anyway. Where you at? I hear you. Keep the pig company. All right, there we go. We'll get a splint made and get it put on that in a minute. I want to get these crinolines finished. Now we have some food. Um, now we have even more food. One minute, one minute thirty-eight. Close enough. I just want to be able to not fall off of this damn thing. And that's not the right shape. not the right shape. All right. R. Let's see which one is the right shape. Is it this one? It's the right shape for that one.
Try this one. Yep, that's the shape. All right. So, E. That one. That one. That one. And that one. Now we need four more. And I know what this shape is. It is this one. There we go. So now we can go all the way to the edge and we can kind of look down without having to worry about falling off this sucker. Um, we don't have enough wood to finish these out. But we'll do what we can. we don't. All right. Let's go back down here. I don't think I have a cast, but we might have a cast. Yes, we do. All right. There we go. So we do have a cast and we have a broken leg. So let's put it on our arm. All right. We're going to go out here and we're going to finish getting ourselves some trees. If we don't re-break our leg. That's the only downside to ladders. I have a problem getting up and down them in this game. I don't know if anybody else does or not, but I know I certainly do. So we're just going to grab a couple of trees real quick. That should give us plenty of lumber to finish doing what we're doing. And then we will officially be ready for Horde Night. I'm not doing any spikes or anything like that. Um, because with this build, you really don't need them. If I had the concrete, I'd do an armored belt around it in concrete. But I don't have the concrete right now. If we have to find the concrete between now and tomorrow night... Um, then we will do that. But as of right now, we don't have the concrete for it. And if we do have the concrete, the first thing we're reinforcing is the rest of that window. You can see that I've already started doing some of it uh, in concrete because that's the concrete that we had. Um, but we didn't have enough to do the whole thing. But I want to reinforce right around the window because that's where it's going to take the most punishment. And then we'll do an armored belt around the tower. Yeah, I really kind of like that look. I think it looks really cool. We'll put some torches on it. Um, maybe we'll put them on where those overhanging corners are. That's the only thing I really kind of been disappointed with is the way those corners overlap and hang out the edge. But beggars can't be choosers, I guess. We'll do what we can. And now I don't have to worry about falling off the damn thing. So we can come out here, enjoy a bit of lunch and what have you, and go back inside. Oh, we need a hatch. H-A-T-C-H, -H, hatch. And we're going to put that to the side again. We don't have any iron right now on us. Our iron is down here. Somewhere. There it 
is. All right, there we go. We are all set. Now up here, this is going to be our living area and our working area. So, so all these chests that I've built, these are just kind of temporary. We are going to build some storage upstairs. And our fire is going to go upstairs. This is going to be our area for uh, for fighting. This is going to be our area for uh, just hanging out. So, S-T-O-R-G. Storage box. Writable storage box. And we're going to go one, two, three, three, four. Well, we'll do five because that's what we can make right now. We're out of nails, but we'll we'll soon have that solved. And we want to put down, put it down right there. We can always move it if we want to. And we got one, two. We can fit under those. Yep, we can fit under those. Come on. Three. Come on. No, one more. Four. Come on. And five. All right. So we're going to go with this one. We're going to call it um, ammo. We're going to call this one weapons. We're going to call this one quells and food and medical. All right, so there are all of our supplies. Now, one thing we haven't done in a bit is we have not looked at our skill points, and we've got 10 of them to pass out. So we need to definitely do that. Now, what I was thinking is if I take engineering and I do blacksmith, that's going to give me um, the forge. We've already got the forge, but... The next one's going to give me cement mixer, and it's going to give me workbenches. But I have to have intellect four for that. But if I have intellect four, grease monkey will give me mini bike. So we're going to take intellect four. So that's one, two, three. Thick headed. Yeah, that's me. All right, thick headed. Um, then we can take tinkerer. And that's going to give us cement mixers and workbenches. And Grease Monkey, Bicycle Mechanic, Mini Bike. Now we won't get fatigued riding around. We can build ourselves a mini bike. That leaves us three points. So what are we going to put those three points in? I don't know. Um, we got Sexual Tyrannosaurus, right? So that gives us a little bit of stamina usage. Um, there is Iron Gut, which consumables last 10% long, buffs from consumables last longer, hold your breath, reduces food and loss from physical exertion by 5%. So that one I kind of really like. So I think we're going to take that one. Cardio, uh, one for, you're now a hiker, increase stamina regen by 10 when sprinting. See, these are when you're running. I don't I don't know if they do us any good or not. Um, physician. Let's see 
Daring Adventurer. Fishing Act every day. An additional choice for quest rewards and 5% more dukes is a pretty good perk. I think we're going to take that. Um, better barter we've already got. Archery, we have not taken the archery, but we really don't need it yet. What does parkour give us? That's falling distance and stamina cost of jumping. Maybe at some point. Gunslinger opens up. Unlocks pistol crafting. Well, we can already make an AK, right? So we don't we don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, well insulated is going to help with hot and cold, less food and water when cold or over here. I think we're going to take that. So there are our our skill points. So now we can start building our stuff up here. Um, and we can start bringing our stuff up here and sorting it out. So what do we need to make a workbench? Oh. RK. Because workbench is like the thing. So forged iron, mechanical parts, wrench, hammer, and wood. So. Forged iron. Mechanical parts wrench hammer and wood but I don't think we have enough mechanical parts do we? we don't have we don't have enough mechanical parts we need a bunch more mechanical parts um, we're gonna put this up here and we're gonna put it right now we're gonna put it in let's put it in medical this is an ongoing project so wood mechanical parts wrench hammer iron all right that's going to be one uh next is f o r g e um small stone clay leather duct tape and short pipe um so clay leather Dirt pipe, duct tape, and small stone. All right, so that's going to be our next project. So, duct tape, small stone, leather, short pipe, and clay, right? And then I think now we have mixer that we can make in the thing. So we need four jar spring engine and mechanical parts. Do we have an engine? I think we have springs. Springs. I see not an engine. All right, I see not an engine, but I do see these two. We will put them in with the forge. And we will put the springs in there. So those are our three projects we're going to work towards. Um, so let us get, I know we, let's get rid of some of this stuff out of our, our hands. Now that we don't need it right now. And let us get a wrench. If we have another wrench. Which we do have another wrench. And do we have repair kits? We have repair kits to fix it. Um... Okay, so, oops, let's grab that, because we need wood anyway, we need clay, and we need stone, right?
All right, so we're going to hobble over here and take this car. Apart. And then we're going to hobble down to the next car and take the next car apart. Got nine more minutes on this hobbling thing. And the reason I don't mind taking the ones apart that are right near us is because they're, they're close enough that they're not going to respawn anyway. And. I don't want them accidentally blowing up and damaging something around us. Um, like if the zombies start beating on them for whatever reason or whatever. We need stones, so we might as well pick up the stones. I know we can get them a lot faster by beating on stuff. Hey, that was nice. I'd be give me a stone. Ooh. Stump. Maybe we can get ourselves some honey. Got some honey, but honey helps. And if nothing else, it's wood. And we can always use the wood. I like the way the doors fall off now. That's kind of cool. I don't think, in all of this, we have to look. Did we get an engine? We did not get any engines. Oh, we do have, on the other hand, a wandering horde. Well, because we have a broke leg right now, I don't think we want to screw with the wandering horde. Not outside of our tower. Not right now. We're going to grab up this wood. We're going to grab a quick thing of rocks and a quick thing of clay. And we're going to need that. With the clay, and we've got a hole started over here. So we're just going to go over here and keep digging our hole. Oh, we got a chicken trapped. Let's get out here and beat on the chicken. Cumbered with chicken. Now, it's easier to dig under the first layer, but I want to make a slope so that number one, we can get out, but number two, so the zombies can get out. So if a zombie falls down in this hole, I don't want him stuck down here. Because if he's stuck down here, he's liable to try and tunnel his way to our house. That would not be a good thing. So I've been meaning to dig this out anyway. This is what I dug at night the other night um, in order to finish up the cobblestone that we needed. So there's that. Grab ourselves a bit of stone.
see if we have enough to build at least the forge and the uh, workbench. We don't have enough to build a cement mixer, I know, because we don't have a motor. But at least uh, if we can build a forge and a cement mixer, or a, a workbench and a, and a forge, that would be nice. Um, we also need to move our um, campfire up to the second floor. Alright. So let's go over here and do this. Let's see if we got everything we need. Tapping the shift key to, to kind of run a little bit. I know it's probably hurt me in the long run, but I'm a little impatient. All right, let's take everything out of this that we can. And then let's take it so we don't have to make a new one. And we don't have to break it down. Come on. All right, there we go. So we're up here. Now let's see if we have enough to make a workbench. W-O-R-K, workbench. What are we missing? We got plenty of mechanical parts. Oh, we need forged iron. All right, let's see. F-O-R. See if we got enough to make a forge. We can make a forge. All right, good. I'm going to put it over here in this corner for now. We're probably going to move it. Um, but we can. <sighs> I think workbench takes two spaces, but I'm not certain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Alright, so... If we do this, one for the workbench, two for the workbench, one for the forge, right? So then we can put some clay in there, and we can put some iron in there, and we can put some wood in there, and turn that on. Um, take our campfire put a campfire right here at our feet so we can stay toasty warm. Uh, put a little bit of wood in there. Can we make some more bacon and eggs? We don't have enough eggs. That's okay. We'll live. We'll get it later. So this is going to give us some forged iron. How many do we need for our workbench? W-O-R-K. We need 25, so we need 12 more. Alright, well. There's three. So that's going to be a little bit. Um, but it's almost nighttime, So we're going to call it here anyway. Um, during the evening, I am going to move all of those upstairs and get them all sorted into the boxes. And uh, we will go from there, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Alright, you guys take care. Bye-bye.